Hello, Michael T T S P here. Today I'm going to show you my game, which is Flat Escape. To the quest Flat Escape, and I'm sure that you know this game. This game hasn't been updated for like more than one year. I can say. And now, why am I back to this game? That is because a person told me that there are still people who actually play this game, and I checked the game and take a look at the leaderboards and find out that was true. There are still a lot of people, not really a lot, but some some people playing this game, and they got really high scores, up to ten thousand or even. Twenty thousand, I forgot, but that's a, a large amount. So now let's jump right into the game and see what I have changed. Change it in this week. So after you see here, you can already see there is a big arrow leading to a lift. This was going to be a part of the tutorials, but since but this feature will be delayed because. People want more maps first, and you can take a look at the leaderboards here. You can see uh, they got two thousand points. That's a lot for me. And thanks to those people. So let me introduce the new script first. So the reason why I quit. Making this game is because one year ago I was trying to recreate or rescript the whole important functions, the core functions in this game. But however, it led to some major errors and bugs and a lot of problems, and I didn't know how to fix. It. So eventually, I quit. Until one week ago, yeah, when I heard the message, I come back here, and for some reason, I I find where was the problem in a few minutes. So I was able to continue working on this game. So it is here, and I kept working on it now. So the leaderboard still works. I'm glad with that. So so what I've changed in this week is that recently. Today I up, I have improved the visuals when you load uh, when you're waiting for a map. So when you go in here, you see there's some stunning effects. Not really that stunning, it's just some post effects and some parts disappearing. And you can see the twinning here is also improved. It's not like static anymore. The trans there's some twinning of transparency over here. And in the future, I will add more particles to this screen here. You know, make it more dramatic. And let's turn off the music right now. It's kind of distracting. So to make it more interesting, and as well as adding music when you wait for a map, and replacing the current lobby music. The current lobby music is really bad, and I want to replace it. And I have improved a lot in composing music, so I have some bit of confidence in this. So let's go to load a map, and you see very cool stuff. And then the map information will be put down here. And the old action bar will be removed entirely in the future. And so for some reason, the music doesn't work. But let's not care about that. And let's turn. Let's, let's turn off here. Turn down the volume here. So right now, you just know easy peasy, just some normal escaping. Nothing special here. So let's go here. And now it's now it is showing the map information. But if you jump into water, it becomes a mini tutorial, which shows you how to swim up and swim down. And after you have done the mini tutorial, 
it becomes an air bar. We can, where you can see how much air is left. So let's go. And now the reason I, I replaced the old bar with this is because that one is pretty buggy and it's always replace information with the coins and XP and level something like that. So I want to make it a separate GUI so that they won't influence each other. So right now it's pretty normal. And for the maps in this game, I will also temporarily remove some of the maps to get a revamp so that they can fit the difficulty more. And right now, the mechanism for calculating the survival thing is pretty clumsy, so I might improve that in the future. And here is the second map, normal, has a gonal acidification. So I also use some rich test here, which is awesome, I guess. And there are nine buttons in this map. This is a lot of buttons. Alright, let's survive three maps. Or two maps actually. Not too that long. Yeah, pretty decent map. Not too much data, not too less. And then survives and you can see the air drain and when it comes to zero it doesn't kill you because you have survived already. And now this is a non 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 map. Thing. So let me drown in this place. You can see the floats, and then you can see this summary screen. So this summary screen shows some information about the map you you were surviving. So yellow means you survive, and green you mean means you died or in progress. So on the right side here, it shows how much XP you get. The above one is depending on how much button you have pressed and the bottom one, one is dependent on the difficulty of the map. But it seems that it's a bit broken right now. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's showing the correct values. Anyway, that's bad. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Not sure if there are any more to show. These things haven't been updated and touched for a long while, which is bad. And I guess this effect is cool. So I'm just gonna remind you of the existence of this game. <laughs> so I expect an update a week later, hopefully, when I have time, if I have time. And in the future, we might as well add more experimental maps and normal maps. So I hope you can look forward to that. So this is the end of the video. And I hope you enjoy this. Goodbye. Goodbye.